Who is the canon Bardock? What about Bardock and canon? Well, first off, let me say it all, start off by saying Bardock, is not, Bardock, the father of Goku, is not canon. Okay? It's not. I'm sorry. If, if, if you want to say it's canon, that is fine. But Bardock, the father of Goku, is not canon to the events of the Dragon Ball manga. That is fact. Okay, all Toriyama did was say he enjoyed the special. Many fans for years believed this was the canon version of Bardock. They got with that was what Toriyama thought Bardock would be like. But that's not true at all, actually. More on that later. First, I'd like to talk about episode of Bardock. All right, one. Episode of Bardock doesn't make any damn sense. For a multitude of reasons. Bardock going back in the past does not make any sense. Bardock is not the legendary Super Saiyan. He isn't. That's not canon. That movie isn't canon. And no, it doesn't explain how Bardock became a Super Saiyan. Or who the first Super Saiyan was. It doesn't explain it. It doesn't explain crap. I'm sorry. It's a bad movie. It's a bad special movie. It doesn't make sense. And it's not canon. It is 100% non-canon. It is not written. It does have a manga, but that manga is not written or approved by Akira Toriyama. It is obviously given his, like, okay, good, whatever. But it isn't actually been like, okay, I like this. This is what I would have done. No. That's not, that's, that's not it at all. I'm sorry. But what I want to talk about is the canon Bardock. The one that appears in the anime and the manga. Now, because of how much Toriyama enjoyed the Bardock Father of Goku anime TV special, he did insert one panel and a, and a, line, a couple lines of dialogue between Goku and Frieza during the Namek arc that references the special. In this scene, I will be showing it on screen, Bardock is... is Joan there, as Frieza says, I remember w once killing a Saiyan, r a Saiyan, that looked just like you, right before I destroyed Planet Vegeta. He was, of course, talking, talking about Bardock. However, however, years later, like, literally, like, over 10 years, like, maybe 10, 15, maybe, like, 20 years later, Akira Toriyama returned in the Jocko manga. He had a couple page one shot manga that was called Dragon Ball Minus. Now, although Dragon Ball Minus does not make any sense, and I hate the fact that it is canon, I mean, it does it, it contradicts the canon to such a level where I want to I want to kill myself, honestly. It's, it's really bad. <laughs> but. It is canon. It is a manga written by Toriyama. Dragon Ball Minus is Toriyama's envision, inverge, inversion, his vision, whatever you want to call it, is what he, is his story of Bardock. Dragon Ball Minus is the story of Goku's mother and, and his father Bardock, then then Goku at age 3, through you Toriyama, at age 3, sending him off to planet Earth, because Bardock has a feeling something bad will soon come. These are the only two times Bardock has ever been shown. The Bardock from episode of Bardock and Bardock the father of Goku are both non-canon. And just so both of you are, I mean not both of you, all of you are aware. They, they cannot be free the either. I'm sorry. But no, no version of Bardock can defeat Frieza by any means. And, but I understand where the misconception can come from. Because there are too many damn versions of him. But there is only one canon version. And that is the one that appears in Dragon Ball Minus. Now I have a feeling that you know, there's that... It did end that Bardock did oppose Frieza. I, I do think that still happened. I just think the events leading up to it are very different in the manga. 
in the manga. Like, we'll probably never know. But guys, I hope you found this video informative and I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. This is One Piece Nation signing out. Have a great day, guys. And remember, Father of Goku and Episode of Bardock are not canon.